Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of the I Hate Matt Wall podcast where today I'm going to do a brief deep dive, so a shallow dive, of the Pen America Penguin Random House um, and a bunch of authors lawsuit against, um, I guess, the state of Florida. Um, and about the book bans. So we're going to hit that up in a little bit. Um, I want to also thank Matthew Buckley Smith again for coming on the show, spending some time last time. And when I was editing that episode, I realized there were a bunch of follow-up questions I had for him. So tonight, actually, in just a little while here, I'm going to be doing some stuff over on his show, on the Rickets of the Slee, Okay. And maybe I'll ask him those questions. If I don't, then I'm going to come back and have a a little bit more retorts on some of the stuff he said. Because it was driving me crazy that, like, I'm I'm like, why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? So, um, and nothing bad. I just, like, you know, whatever. And also, go to IHateMattWall.com to join my mailing list. A couple things I want to say right off the bat right now. By the time this goes live, you should be able to get a copy of Let Us Bleed, the new chapbook for May. I know it's the end of May, guys. I'm sorry. I really tried hard to get this out sooner. Um, But it's a split chapbook with me and Bunny Wild. Um, Ten poems from me, ten poems from Bunny. It's a really fucking good book on this beautiful, amazing um, red glitter cardstock. And I have tried rubbing this thing out. And the glitter doesn't come off. So that's cool. It's like grip tape on a skateboard. Um, And it's nice and flim flam. It's great. So this will be up on my shop. Another thing about my shop that I totally fucked up. I had a one day sale back on the 5th of the 5th month. Okay. That's this month on the 5th. It is now the 22nd. I forgot to take the things off of the um, five day sale. So there are, I think, 20, I think one of my books is not there anymore, so it might be 19, but there are like a lot of my chapbooks for only $5 um, on my shop. So if you go pick that up, go ahead and do that, and I'm going to leave the $5 thing going until the end of the month, because I already fucked it up so bad, I might as well just continue the fucking. The other thing I want to show you, this came today. Oh my god, I'm holding it in my chunky little hand. Winner of your mom's sodomy prize for poetry. The book. Oh, it's a pocket-sized book. I love it. I just, oh my god, I've been walking around, and I've been putting it in my pocket, and then taking it out real quick, and then opening it up real quick to try to read a poem. It's working out beautifully. It's like... I'm walking down the street. I want to read a poem. Oh, boom. Here we go. Oh, Oh, I'm sitting on the bus. I got a moment to kill. Hey, look, it's in my pocket. Boom. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm hanging out at McDonald's for some stupid reason because that's so... Oh, here, look. I'm I'm reading a poem right now. It is perfect. This is exactly how poetry books should be. Super tiny. You can fit them in your pocket and read them at your leisure. Okay? So, this... Um, this is the proof. I'm approving the proof. Um, I don't know. I'm not like, I I won't say any names here, but I actually have to go online and let the company know that I am approving the proof. I can't just go, I approve the proof and then it's done. And then the books will be shipped to me where they will be numbered, um, and signed. The people who, um, back the campaign will get their books and then these will go on sale to the general public probably mid-June. That's the plan, okay? So if you back the campaign, get ready because these are coming, okay? So there's that. Now on with the shlomo. All right, and here we are. We are back alleged. All right, cool. Right, Right as rain, here we are. Okay, so now let's move over to here. Boom. Okay, 
So this is the um, suit in question that we are going to be looking into here. Now, I'm not going to read everything in here. I, I might, but I just go to um, pen.org and look at all this stuff. Um, there's all sorts of shit to look at here. So let's let's hit this. So this was filed on Wednesday, um, May 17th. Today is the 22nd. So Pen America versus Escambia County School District. Okay. So... Um, Pen America, Penguin Random House, and a diverse group of authors joined with parents and students in Escambia County, Florida, to file a federal lawsuit challenging removals and restrictions of books from school libraries that violate their rights to free speech and equal protection under the law. Whew. All right. Let's see what else. The lawsuit brings together authors whose books have been removed or restricted and parents and students in the district who cannot access the books. In a first of its kind challenge to unlawful censorship, ensuring that students have access to books on a wide range of topics that express a diverse a diversity of viewpoints is a core function of public education, preparing students to be thoughtful and engaged citizens. The lawsuit says that S can be a county school district and school board violated the First Amendment rights of the students, authors, and publishers by removing books based on ideological objections to their contents or disagreement with their messages or themes. Per the lawsuit, the district also violated the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution because the books being singled out for possible removal are disproportionately books by non-white and or LGBTQ authors or which address topics related to race or LGBTQ identity. Florida has one of the highest rates of book removals and restrictions in the country as researched by Pet America and documented in its index of school bans. Now, here's the deal. We're going to look at this. We're also going to read the press release. We're not going to read the entire complaint because it is fucking massive. But you can take a look at that, and I will have links in the description down below. Now, again, I know that no one is going to have my books in a fucking elementary school, okay? I know that this thing right here does not affect me, but it does because this is the first step. I said this before, just like how they did with like the trans rights and all this other stuff, just like they've done with these book bans. They start small. They, it's all culture war bullshit. They say, hey, we're protecting the kids. We got to protect the kids from these crazy woke lunatics, these socialist Democrat bullshit. This is not a Democrat and Republican issue. Okay. This is just a fuck as artists, as creators. Do you want the government telling you what you can and cannot do. I was watching um, an interview on, oh God, was it CNN? I, I, don't, I don't, It was CNN or MSNBC, I can't remember. And they were talking to someone from Penguin Random House. And was it, Pen yes, whatever. And they were saying that editors are afraid to like take on books right now that might be construed as engaging in some of these topics. So this is already fucked. Like everyone is already screwed. If publishers are already saying, like, listen, I, I, I don't want I don't want to cause any shit. Maybe we need we're already fucked. Okay? And that's everybody. That is not just people who write books that are targeted towards children, okay? We are all fucked. If the top publishers are already fucking going, oh, God, that's not good, okay? And it's not just with the publishers. It's also with magazines. Do you understand what's happening right now? Censorship is causing oppression 
on the top brass of places that publish all of our shit. They're scared, so they're not going to take certain things based on this, 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 and that. Um, on a side note, the um, NAACP has issued a travel warning to anyone going to Florida because of how Florida treats black Americans and other people who don't fit the stereotype of what Ron DeSantis thinks, I'm sorry, Ron DeSatan thinks that fucking Florida should be, okay? So, again, this whole thing has gotten completely out of hand. He knows it. Republicans in Florida know it. And it, it's just, it's a mess, dude. So, again, I'm going to get off my soapbox here and go straight to the press release, or else I'm going to be saying some shit that's going to really cause some shit. All right, so here we go. Pet America files lawsuit against Florida school district over unconstitutional book bans. Lawsuit asserts a uh, Cambia County School Board unlawfully removes or restricts access to books on race, racism, and LGBTQ identities. For immediate release, you always know that a press release means business when it says for immediate release. And to be fair, I never have seen one that said for release in about three and a half weeks. I've never seen anything like that. They're always immediate. Okay, so May 17th, 2023, Pensacola, Florida. Free expression organization Pen America, alongside publisher Penguin Random House, authors, and parents of children affected by the unconstitutional book bans carried out by Florida's Escambia County School District and School Board, filed suit today in a federal court asking for books to be returned to school library shelves where they belong, ensuring that students have access to books on a wide range of topics and expressing a, di a diversity of viewpoints supports a core function of public education, preparing students to be thoughtful and engaged citizens. The lawsuit alleges Escambia County has set out to exclude certain ideas from their school libraries by removing or restricting books, some of which have been on the shelves for years, even decades. This lawsuit brings together authors whose books have been banned, parents and students in the district who cannot access the books, and a publisher in the first of its kind challenge to unlawful censorship. According to the lawsuit, the school board's removal and restriction of access to books discussing race, racism, LGBTQ identities against the recommendations of the district review committee charged with evaluating book challenges violates the First Amendment. By ignoring these recommendations, the school district made clear that its interests are in censoring certain ideas and viewpoints. The lawsuit further contends that the school district and the school board are violating equal protection clause of the Constitution because the books being singled out are disproportionately books by non-white and or LGBTQ authors, often address themes or topics of race or LGBTQ identity. Children in a democracy must not be taught that books are dangerous. The freedom to read is guaranteed by the Constitution said Suzanne Nozzle, CEO of PEN America. I hope I said your name right. Um, in Escambia County, state censors are spiriting books off shelves in a deliberate attempt to suppress diverse voices. In a nation built on free speech, this cannot stand. The law demands that Escambia County School District put removed or restricted books back on library shelves where they belong. The targeted book removals we are seeing in Escambia County are blatantly unconstitutional attempts to silence and stigmatize, said Nadine Farid Johnson, Counseling and Managing Director of PEN America Washington and Free Expression Programs. The government should not foster censorship by proxy, allowing one person to decide what ideas are out of bounds for all. Books have the capacity to change lives for the better, and students in particular deserve equitable access to a wide range of perspectives. Censorship in the form of book bans like those enacted by Escambia County are a direct threat to democracy and our constitutional rights, said Nahar Malavia, CEO of Penguin Random House. We stand by our authors, their books, and the teachers, librarians, and parents who champion free expression. We are proud to join forces with our longtime partner, PEN America.
The authors involved in the suit, all of whom have either already had their books removed by the district and or restricted from student access, include author and children's book illustrator Sarah Brannan, young adult fiction authors David L Levithan? Leviathan? I don't know. George M. Johnson, Ashley Hope Perez, and children's book author Luke... Luke Kylehoff. No. Kyle Lukoff. Um, young readers in Escambia schools and across the nation deserve a complete and honest education, one that provides them with full access in libraries to a wide range of literature that reflects varied viewpoints and that explores a, the, the diversity of human experiences, said Ashley Hope Perez, author of Out of Darkness, one of the books targeted by the school district. <gasps> As a former public high school English teacher, I know firsthand how important libraries are. For many young people, if a book isn't in their school library, it might as well not exist. Boom goes the dynamite. I agree. Plaintiff Lindsay Dirts and Ann Novakowski are parents of children who attend Escambia County Schools seeking to ensure their children have access to the books they wish to read and that they are exposed to different viewpoints and experiences. Uh, without diverse representation in literature and school libraries and inclusive dialogue in the classroom, we are doing um, irreparable harm to the voices and safety of students in Florida, said Lindsay, uh, an Escambia County parent and plaintiff. Our children need the adults in their lives to stand up for the promise of inclusion and equity. Oh, this is actually really cool. For the past two years, Pan America has tracked the growth of a nationwide educational censorship campaign to impose ideological control over the freedom to read, learn, and think. This campaign, dubbed the Ed Scare by Pan America, is evident in the rapid spread and passage of educational gag orders and the unprecedented rise of book bans. Since January 2021... 306 educational gag order bills have been introduced in 45 different states, and 22 have become law in 16 states. And in the beginning of the 21-22 school year, book bans have become an increasingly common feature of public schools, toppling 4,000 individual bans from July 2021 to December 2022. Now, this is all really fucking heavy shit. And I know that a lot of you don't really think, it's not a big deal. It's not going to happen. It's already happening. How many people thought abortion would never get overturned like this? How many people thought that? For the last 50 years, how many people thought that? A lot. Guess what happened? It's all fucked up. And every fucking day that goes by, another state fucks it up even more. I'm looking at you, North Carolina. Don't fuck me up. Okay? All of these things are small steps that lead to something bigger if action isn't taken now we won't have the ability to fix that in the future okay i'm just saying like these rights we have as artists as creators we need to take seriously for ourselves we also need to take it seriously as people who consume art so we can read whatever the fuck we want to read because i'm telling you if the big five publishers or whatever are already going, well, we probably shouldn't get this because that's going to fuck us up later on down the road, we're all fucked. We're going to be reading the most, like, fucking white bread, fucking boring ass shit forever. And all those books that you used to like a long time ago, you're not even going to be able to find those anymore. Those are gone. Okay. So this is some serious shit. And I really hope you guys take action there's a thing down here that you could sign to get going on it um, and or donate um, if you'd like to help pet america document and fight book bans support our work today um, so i don't know how that actually works how can you help um, hashtag free the books um, there's just a lot of information here so definitely i will link all this down below I have no idea what that noise is. It sounds like there's a robot trying to burst through my wall. Anyway, um, so let's just uh, move on to the butt plugs. This is a quick show, guys. Quick show. All right, so 
butt plug time. So again, let us bleed. Pick it up at my Etsy shop. Links down below. Um, and let's give shout outs to those sweet mamma jammas who fucking deserve it. So I want to give a big thank you to those fuckers on Patreon. Michael, Cedar, Harry, you guys are the shit. Over at the YouTube Thank You Crew, I want to give a thank you to Patrick, to Britt, to Jan, to Deb, to Ethan, to Julia. You guys are amazing. Over at the Anarchy Crew, I want to give a big thank you to you. Bunny, to Nate, to Mindy, to Thomas, to Tim, to Jay, to Shaylin, to Chill Baby, to Tamara, to Adam, to JH, to Chase, and to Tim G. And now for the biggest swinging pendulums over there at the chat book of the month club number one chappy let's hear it for caitlin thank you so much now for those of you who are interested in this kind of shit i have the uh bukowski book club over on my youtube channel and if you want to for those of you who are just listening to this episode if you want to like watch what i just read i have all the text on the screen so if you go to YouTube, you could just watch the podcast instead of just listen to it. Whatever. Um, but uh, for the Bukowski Book Club, which you could participate in every week um, at any level of membership on my YouTube page, um, we're going through the days run away like wild horses over the hills. I don't have it in front of me right now, but we're going to do something really cool um, this Thursday for the... Um, Bukowski Book Club stream for members only. We're going to be going over a bunch of poems by his contemporaries, Bukowski's contemporaries, that made him write the way he wrote for a lot of those early poems that are in that book. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and because we're doing the Bukowski Book Club, it got me thinking about that old video series I was doing um, about the Bukowski chapbooks. I haven't done one of those since last summer, I don't think. So I put together all the information for another one, and it's going to be coming out here really soon. Um, it's going to be for the chapbook Run With The Hunted. Now, this is not this book, Run With The Hunted, a Bukowski reader. This is the actual chapbook from 1960... Shit, I can't remember. 1960-something. Um, but something amazing that I found in this, because um, this came up in the last Bukowski Book Club stream, this whole idea about John Martin's edits and um, before and after Bukowski's death. And there is a poem in this chapbook that we're going to be going over where he completely fucking just took liberties like completely like he threw out like four or five lines he changed the opening line he changed some statements into questions um just like and what's crazy is i think bukowski's original poem was 24 lines the edited version is like 47 lines and he cut out a bunch of bukowski stuff anyway so it's just, it's fucking madness. So we're going to be doing side-by-side -side comparisons on that. So that will be up on my page sometime this week. So um, that's super cool. So again, let us bleed out now. Uh, when are your mom's me Prize for Poetry? It's in my hands and it'll be in yours soon. Okay. So with all of that said, guys, keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. The $5 sale is still going until the end of the month on certain selected titles. Okay? Fight book bands, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.